Hey guys, I am Gwendolyn Yo. That's what it looked like without glasses. Um, these are my cheap 99 cents glasses. Um, so some of you know me as an actress. Um, it's hard to be labelless or bright, but anyways, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know what uh, the cool things that brought me joy and continue to bring me joy um, uh, during COVID, but also after, um, I be like, I love mother nature and I never thought I would so such a city girl, but I want to teach you, um, how to make sage straws. I just discovered this last night. I was like, I need to tell you guys all about it. I had heard of beef jerky straws. Go ahead and Google it. I think that's hilarious. I don't eat meat. I'm a pescatarian, which means that I eat seafood and everything. I just don't eat like four legged animals. Um, so not for environmental purposes, just my body seems to reject it, but go ahead and eat meat, all good. So I thought those were the coolest things. You stick them in margaritas and you can eat it or whatever. And I thought bamboo straws were cool, eco-friendly, you know, they break off or whatever, but I never really thought about the process, right? So I am a bit of a D, do it yourself sometimes. So this is my apothecary, which we'll talk about another time. Um, but I wanted to show you, first of all, my, well, first of all, look at my cool citrine necklace. Isn't that cool? And this is like all my gems and everything. Um, a quick side note in citrine. Oh, now I have to wear my, my nerdy glasses again. So with citrine, there is heated and unheated citrine. So you can get like your, I don't want to pitch any, I have no endorsements on this. I just don't want to uh, pitch a book or anything, but it says citrine. Now there's raw and then there's heated. I am like a raw girl, like, okay, so this is like raw citrine, right? And you've seen the more brilliant kinds of raw and you know, like amethyst, like that's raw versus it being some other things. And you know, there's this, this is like aquamarine, but anyway, I digress in terms of the raw of raw stuff. We'll get into that another day. But I'm wearing the citrine um, uh, for the second time ever. Um, the the raw, the heat, this is heat treated. So that's why it looks so like treated, like versus raw. I love both looks, but it's hard to find raw stones that look really elegant. Anyway, um, physical benefits, <clears throat> excuse me, um, may help ease problems with the pancreas, liver, spleen, gallbladder, digestive, blah, 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 blah. But really... I thought it was cool because it's for exhaustion, lack of energy, fibromyalgia, um, and effective against depression, um, overcoming repressed childhood hurts, and for breaking a cycle of worry or guilt. And that's something that I'm working on. So why not? So yeah, so I am excited. And guess what? Am um, Citrine's actually heat-treated purple amethyst. So amethyst and this actually the same. All right, so I digress. Let's get back to straws. So we're talking about sage. <clears throat> now we all know like sage bundles that usually come like this, right? There's blue sage. Um, so this is white sage. This is blue sage. Um, and then there's mugworts, which is basically darker, darker sage. It's called mugworts, kind of like Harry Potter. Cool, right? So I have that in my little apothecary. And um, <clears throat> and yes, I did paint that painting. Isn't that cool? That was a hobby that I picked up. That was my, I think, fourth, fifth painting ever. I'm really proud of it. In any event, and I'm learning that to give myself praise. So this is live sage that I've never seen. But my cool, amazing neighbors were like, please help yourself. Because they were like growing abundantly. They smell so good. These are the flowers. And I've got a little bowl here. Look how pretty. Isn't that cool? And I stick it in water sometimes. I have no idea how much longer they'll last. But um, And then you can also dry them. And so where's my dry? Yeah. So I dried them and bundled them like this. All I did was dry this. Tie them together. I dried them separately and then tie them together. I know it doesn't look as cool as them doing it officially. But I feel pretty proud of myself. Um, <clears throat> I just keep giving my, myself compliments. Now, this is the, the flower, but the longer version of a large plant. And you see this part, when you cut it, it's actually hollow. Do you see that? It's hollow. But sometimes it's not hollow all the way. 
So this is the end result, right? You see, you see, do you see the hole in there? And there's a hole in there too. Now these are pretty small. There was a larger one, but I broke it. because I, I was like, oh my God, they're hollow. And I was like, they can make straws. So this is like um, a wire that you can buy at any plant store that you use to, you know, make your plant straighter or what have you. That's what also became a plant mom, which I never thought I'd ever be. Um, but if you stick it in here, I don't know if it's going to work. Hopefully this one will work. If you stick it in, so basically like where the joints are, don't break on me. This might not work, but let's see. Ah, you see the break? So it went deeper and then there's another joint. Hang on a second. Yikes. So, so far it's gone in that much. I think I need to do one of those like cut two. I'm scared. Okay. You can do, oh, Oops. I just totally sweared. Um, I have to bleep that out. I broke it. Darn it. I broke it, but it wasn't really, that didn't really have that big of a hole there anyway. In any event, the other, where are my other, my other long flowers? I had two other, oh, here they are. So I'm not lying here. These I got and I did the same thing, but maybe because I'm a bit nervous, but also there isn't a hole in there. But the other two did have holes in it. And look, I did that with this. Got it through, right? And you can do this either before or after you dry it. And you dry it by hanging it on a hook with a rubber band simply in the sun. Leave it alone. And uh, yeah, I think I'm forgetting something. And uh, yeah, you just let it dry in the sun. And then, so here's the water. Now, again, this is not the thickest straw in the world. This is just for fun, just to make you giggle and laugh. So this is water. It's not the fastest drinking, but hang on. So watch. And it tastes like sage. <laughs> we have sage straws. Woo! I don't know. That stuff excites me. So welcome to sage straws. And they have to be pretty grown up plants. And like, oh, you see this sage right here? Um, it's black at the bottom, but you see how much thicker this is? So if I had dried this, I guess I still could. Um, and if there is still a hole big enough, then it would be a thicker straw and it would be more useful. Now, I don't know how much longer these would last, but I'm going to, once I've used them and drank my water, drunk, drank, drank my water, drunk my water, I'm going to put them back in the sun just so that they're dried through in the center. But really, they're just a novelty and just fun to have around. And um, it just makes me feel happy. And I think that um, being positive about the little things, being really grateful, like being grateful that I'm making this video, being grateful that just it's creative. And I do believe that, um, you know, we were God's the great master of the universe and we were created to be creative. So, uh, yeah. So I hope that that inspired you to look for sage straws or, uh, maybe other cool things. And if you discover something, just go for it. All right. That's me signing off sage straws and apothecary and a little bit of citrine, a story. Um, and yeah, um, I guess people always say, please subscribe or what have you. Um, I'm, just getting back into social media. So uh, um, yeah, do subscribe. And um, I'm just posting random things that bring me joy and we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, so here's me, no foundation on, um, just a little toner and uh, a little bit of sunscreen that's slightly tinted. But here I am and I really like this. I'm so proud of this. Thank you for sharing this with me. Much love to y'all, okay? Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, and remember to tell yourself that, okay? Because you are. All right, I hope this lifts your spirits. And remember, if you feel down or what have you, just focus on the smallest thing because those are the things that truly, truly count. I love y'all. Bye. And check out my work, gwenlinyo.com. I'm supposed to do that, right? G-W-E-N-D-O-L-I-N-E-Y-E-O. All right.
Bye. Love you.